Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about embouchure. Now embouchure is the position of the mouth when playing a musical instrument. Specific to us, we'll be talking about bassoon embouchure. So let's go ahead and dig into the key principles to get those warm, rich, dark tone colors as well as make sure we're setting the bassoonist up for good intonation. First of these, when teaching embouchure, I like to make sure that the teeth never come in contact with the delicate reed. I have the bassoonists go ahead and wrap their lips over their teeth, creating that nice pillow. I have them roll their bottom lip in and their top lip over their top teeth. So roll in and fold under. This ensures that that reed will have that nice delicate pillow of the lips rather than the teeth ever coming in contact. The next thing I like to do is to make sure that the bassoonist is getting a nice overbite as part of the embouchure. Some bassoonists are going to be genetically predisposed to a good overbite and other bassoonists will have to work a little bit harder to get this as part of correct embouchure. This means that the front teeth are going to be pushed slightly forward and the back bottom jaw and bottom teeth are going to be pulled slightly backwards. So it will look a little bit like this. Now, this correct embouchure will help ensure some of those dark tone colors, but will also help to make sure that the bassoonist is not pinching with the bottom jaw. Making sure that the bassoonist is not pinching with the bottom jaw is a key element in making sure that the pitch is not going to run sharp, but also that we're gonna get some of those warm, rich, dark tone colors. We'll come back to this with more tips in just a moment. From here, I like to make sure that the bassoonist just can go ahead and make a sound because that's what we are all here for. So I have them go ahead and put the reed in the mouth. They should have about half of the blade in the mouth for where most beginning books start. From there, I have them go ahead and just start making sounds. As they're making sounds, I like to double check that they are not puffing the cheeks out. Oh no! Puffing the cheeks out can sometimes lead to a variable of pitch discrepancy because as the air deflates out of the cheeks, then the pitch will start to run flat. My favorite bassoonists will even end up with a bit of dimples if they have them showing when they play bassoon because their dimples will show that they have the correct embouchure. And that's a great way to make sure that they are also not puffing their cheeks. Now, back to some of the bassoonists that might start to run sharp as their embouchure begins to improve and strengthen, but they can also run sharp and pinch that bottom jaw with really bright tone colors if they originally started on saxophone. So for those that have switched over, one of the first things that I like to make sure they're not doing is pinching with that bottom jaw, and they are noting that there is a difference between bassoon embouchure and saxophone embouchure. The way that I like to double check this is have the bassoonist play three finger C, three finger C that is in the staff. By having them do this, their right hand is completely free to go ahead and check that embouchure and make sure it's not pinching. What I have them do is play the note and then use their pointer finger to press in between their teeth to make sure that they can get their finger between their teeth. And if they can, that means that they're not pinching and they have correct embouchure. So it will look a little bit like this. If they're able to get that finger between the teeth, then they are using correct embouchure. Another thing I like to do for bassoonists that are truly struggling with releasing the bottom jaw is have them play pitch benders. Now pitch benders for me are where the bassoonist plays the note, they relax the bottom jaw, and by relaxing the bottom jaw, they can hear the pitch bend a full half step. I have them re-engage the jaw just enough so they hit that green light on the tuner, and once they hit that green light on the tuner, they can see that that is going to allow them to have that space that is between the back molars, which gives them the ability to have warm, rich, dark tone colors, as well as making sure that the pitch is on point. Yeah. I do have to say that all of this is based on the fact that the reed, the bassoon, and the vocal are all correct so that they are not having a challenge with overall pitch being off. If you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about embouchure or you have any tips or tricks that you think we would all benefit from, be sure to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!